Welcome to my apartment and my tiny kitchen. <laughs> During this time, I have been cooking in my kitchen, but it's mostly just comfort food, something that takes like two seconds. Or I've been able to support a lot of Los Angeles restaurants by getting takeout, but I'm not eating there because of COVID. So something is missing, which is basically just kitchen to table. So my challenge is, can I elevate my cooking skills as if they're restaurant skills and cook myself a beautiful, beautiful dinner. It's happening. Let's start cooking. I was lucky to get a dish from Riviera Seafood Club, which is sustainable restaurant quality. So clearly with restaurant quality fish, I'm gonna make a restaurant quality dish. I'm gonna make a sesame crusted tuna with roast bok choy in a tomato hot and sour sauce. And then for my main, I'm gonna do a local black cod with forbidden rice in a yellow Thai coconut curry sauce. Yum! First things first, it's time to make the sauce. For my hot and sour, I have lemongrass, ginger, a whole bunch of ingredients I'm gonna put in a pot. They're going to steam so that they get a little soft. And now I'm gonna add tomatoes, bell pepper, and rice vinegar. Beautiful. So I did a quick stick blender on this just to release the flavors. I added cilantro, Thai basil, and kaffir leaf. I'm gonna let it steep, get all those flavors released. For my black cod, I'm making a Thai coconut curry sauce. And in here we have ginger, garlic, shallots, lemongrass, kaffir lime, fish sauce, coconut milk, and sweet chili. And of course, yellow curry paste. Yum! Add some herbs. And now I'm gonna add rice so that it will help thicken it. So my hot and sour sauce has been steeping. Yes, I could have bought a hot and sour sauce, but there's something so special about making this on your own. It's legit. This is it completely strained. Flavor is there. I'm also going to strain my curry sauce, not once, but twice. Look at just this smooth, velvety yellow curry. I can't even imagine how good the black cod is gonna be. So proud. For my tuna dish, it needs a little bit of a vegetable component, so I halved some bok choy. I'm just gonna give it a quick sear, cut side down. Easy. So now, the only thing left to do is sear the tuna. This is the beauty I get to work with, a little premium gray tuna. Um, this would be good for sashimi or poke, but I'm gonna slice it, I'm gonna sear it. So I'm just gonna lightly crust the tuna with black sesame seeds. It's a quick sear on each side, about 10 seconds. Now with my black cod, I'm just gonna give it a good sear, skin side down so it gets nice and crispy. And it's a light, delicate fish, so it's not gonna take that long to cook. And while all this was cooking, I made a rice that's gonna go with my black cod. And now I get to eat. The best part of all the hard work, I get to enjoy this sesame crusted seared tuna with bok choy, and of course the tomato, hot and sour. Get all the bites in here. Oh my goodness, this is the perfect summer dish, first of all. All of these components are so good together. It's delicate, but it's so complex. I'm also so proud because it was made in my kitchen. This is something I would 100% go back to a restaurant for over and over again. This is insane. The perfect appetizer for my next course. Although I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this right now. And I could drink this sauce right up. Look at the skin on this. It's all crispy and crunchy over forbidden rice and the beautiful curry that I made. Oh! <laughs> the cod melts in your mouth. It's so delicate. Subtle hug and glaze of the curry. This is like a delicate, like fancy dish I can't believe I'm eating in my house right now. I'm eating as if I'm in a fancy restaurant right now. Also this curry that I made is heaven. There's spice, but it's just on like the tongue. It has like a little like, ooh, let me wake you up spice. <laughs> Until restaurants are open officially, I now have no excuse not to eat like I'm dining in one. Cheers. Also, this is such a well-deserved drink after all that cooking. 
Still hungry? Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel.